Yes, I'm back on my Atmon nonsense again, but this time I want to talk about various Atmon designs that either are seemingly inspired from existing Digimon designs, or appear to be more or less just straight counterparts taught to them. So the first one is kind of like a bit of an obvious one. There is Agumon from Digimon, the Digimon Agumon, I'm sure you know of him. And of course we have the Agumon who appears in Apmon. Now this Agumon in Apmon is more or less the Atmon for a game that the main character Haru plays that appears to be just Digimon Adventure but in a mobile game form. And this is a game that you used to play as a kid and we get a few shots from this game and it has the Digimon Adventure style background and Agumon walking along that. It's kind of a cute reference and no other Digimon species appear in Atmon other than this Agumon and he gets a chip, and it's a, an Agumon chip. And, of course, he actually does evolve to Wargreymon, but I meant other non-Agumon Digimon that don't appear in Atmon, which is a shame, because I would have liked to see more of this little game that Haru used to play. The next one is a newer Digimon. We have Lugamon, who is appearing in Digimon Seekers, which is the currently running Digimon official web novel. And, of course... It has the uh, counterpart of Logamon. This one is could be considered a stretch because, yes, they're just both bo based on the same sort of uh, werewolf design, but they look fairly similar down to that purple colouring, and the name's pretty similar. So I'm including that, especially because when the leak for the Logamon Dim was sort of floating around the internet just before Digimon Con, I was thinking that it could be an Atmon Dim. It wasn't, unfortunately. But Digimon Seekers, still, so far, pretty cool. Or at least I'm enjoying it. Next, we have uh, the two Hackmon. We have Hackmon, who is the... What is more or less like the 15th anniversary Digimon, appeared in Try. And then we have Hackmon, who is the hacking Atmon. So... This one, it could also be more of a stretch. There are more that have look more one-to-one -one than these. They do have similar aspects. And, of course, the name itself. But this one, it's a little bit more of a stretch. Now we have some that aren't stretches. They look basically just like chibified versions of uh, these, these Atmon, or these Digimon, rather. So first of all, we have another new Digimon, Publimon, who just looks like Reviewmon and Cosamon. I've made that comparison quite a lot before. They look fairly similar. The next one is Ancient Wisemon. Looks really similar to Miramon, to the point that I'm much wondering if they are meant to be the Atmon equivalent of Ancient Wisemon, at the very least. And now we have a really, what I think is a really obvious one, to be counterparts, but also there's only so many ways you can go about doing this, and that is Garbamon, the pink thing in the garbage, having an Atmon counterpart as Gomimon, who again is a pink blob in a green bin. They look fairly similar. And then of course there's another case of they just are similar, but they could just be counterparts, and that is Cardmon. There are various Cardmon that appeared in Digimon World 2003, and then we also have the Appmon Cardmon, but they look fairly different. They don't even look similar at all to the Digimon Cardmon, but I thought I'd mention it just because Cardmon has the same name as the Cardmon from Digimon World 2003. Not much else to say. Then lastly, one that is just a very big stretch, and that is the Leomon equivalent is Ojamon, but he doesn't die or anything, he just looks fairly similar. Uh, that one is the most stretch out of all of these. So I really love Atmon. I wish we got to see more of these designs. I've made various videos about why Atmon's my favourite series. I've made a video where I explained why Atmon could be uh, retconned into being a Digimon series just by quite easily 
assigning the levels, Digimon levels. It feels like that's much more simple than when they made the Cross Wars moms have regular Digimon levels. And it'll be really great to see these designs again. I've also covered uh, the Digimon design, the Atmon designs rather, that I really, really liked. Because it is a shame that Toei and Bandai designed 147 Atmon and never really did anything with them except for obviously the Atmon series, the video game, the manga, etc, etc. But since the conclusion of the anime, they haven't done anything with these designs. So that's 147 designs just kind of going down the gurgler, which is really sad because some of these designs are great. And yes, I've made a video about that. So those are all the counterparts for Atmon that have Digimon counterparts that I could think of. If I'm forgetting any or if there's any more that uh, you, th you think could be related in some way outside of the ones that I've mentioned, let me know in the comments section below. I look forward to hearing your thoughts about what counterparts you think exist. I think some of these are more or less of a stretch than others. Uh, mainly Ancient Wisemon looks a lot like Miramon and the Garbage Mon and Gomi Mon one. They look fairly similar too. And if you think that I've forgotten any, please let me know. Like this video for Atmon love. I am the person who will always provide Atmon with love. And if you haven't already watched Atmon, please do so. That's something else that I've covered, why you should watch Atmon. A little bit of self-plugging going on there. But in any case, that's it for this video. So subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have subscribed, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your enemies. And check out my other videos if you're interested in more Atmon, I guess. I've mentioned a few just off the bat that you could watch if you want to hear more of me just saying how much I love Atmon. So check that out. And of course, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.